By the end of this video, you will know exactly whether upgrading your RAM is worth it or if your money is better spent on something else. I'm running three popular games, Hello Night, Sleeping Dogs, and FIFA 19 updated squad version to see if upgrading your RAM makes any difference in gameplay or it's just a hype. Everyone says upgrading your RAM makes your laptop faster. But does it make any difference in gaming? Today, I'm putting that to test. Three laptops, same spec, except one thing. The RAM. 8GB, 16GB, and 32GB. Alright, in this video, I'm comparing three laptops, all with the same specs, except the RAM. I've got three HP EliteBook 840J5 here. Each one is running an Intel Core i7 8 Gen processor, the same SSD, the same integrated Intel UHD 620 graphics, same everything. The only difference is one has 8GB RAM, one has 16GB RAM, and this one has 32GB of RAM. Now I know, UHD 620 isn't a gaming GPU, but a lot of people still play light and medium games on this laptop. So let's find out, does upgrading your RAM make any difference in gaming performance on these laptops? To test this, I picked three games. Halo Night, Sleeping Dog Definitive Edition, FIFA 19 Updated Squad. Let's get into it. Test 1, Halo Night. Starting with the 8GB version. Before even launching the game, the RAM usage sits around 4.8 to 5GB. Once the game loads, everything runs smoothly. No lag no frame drops. So far, Hello 9 seems to play perfectly fine even on the 8 gigs of RAM laptop. Switching to the 16 gig version. Interestingly, RAM usage goes up to around 6.4 gigabytes. The game feels a bit smoother, but no huge difference. The more RAM the system has, the more it tends to use. But overall, experience is just slightly more fluid. Now the 32 gig version. Here, the RAM sits around 6.3 GB max, about the same as the 16 GB. Gameplay feels identical to the 16 GB model. So for Hello Night, anything above 8 GB doesn't really improve the gaming performance. Though the 16 GB and the 32 GB version feels much smoother. Test 2, Sleeping Dogs. Next up is launching Sleeping Dog Definitive Edition. I launch all laptops side by side. During the loading phase, the 8 gig model uses about 5 gigabytes of RAM, and the 16 gig uses around 6.4 gigabytes, and the 32 gig version about 6.1 gigabytes. But once the game started, I noticed all three systems began to struggle a bit. The GPU maxed out at 100% across the board. This is a GPU heavy game, and integrated Intel graphics are really the bottleneck here, not the RAM. In terms of gameplay here, all three laptops perform really similar, a little laggy at times. Even though the 16 gig and the 32 gig used more RAM, it didn't translate into smoother performance. So the conclusion for this one is adding more RAM didn't really make much difference in the gameplay. That's because sleeping dogs rely on GPU power instead of RAM capacity. Test 3, FIFA 19. On the 8 gig version, RAM usage peaked at around 7.3 gigabytes almost maxed out. On the 16 gig version, it climbed to 9.6 GB. On the 32 gig version, around 11.5 GB. The GPU again hit 100% on all three systems, but I could feel the gameplay on the 32 gig version was the smoothest overall. The 8 gig lagged the most and the 16 gig was somewhere in between playable but not perfect. For the FIFA, more RAM does help slightly with the smoother gameplay but the GPU is still the main limitation. After testing all these three, here's my honest takeaway. For light and medium games like the Hello Night, 8GB is totally fine. For heavier games like Sleeping Dogs or FIFA, adding more RAM helps a little but not dramatically. The raw bottleneck isn't the RAM is the GPU. If you are using an Intel Irish or UHD 620 graphics or any of these graphics, don't expect high-end gaming performance no matter the amount of RAM you add to your laptop. But if you are currently on an 8GB laptop and you can afford to upgrade to a 16GB or a 32GB, you will get smoother multitasking and slightly better performance in some games. Thanks to Utech system for giving me this laptop. 
If you are looking for a clean, tested, affordable used laptop, contact them and mention Albert Unbox for up to 20% discount. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do that and like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.